Yes, we know that shaitan is chained in this month of Ramadan. But sometimes we see that even in this month of Ramadan, people quarrel with each other. People like, use very hot words with each other and may and do very rude and rough behavior with each other. What is the problem? Shaitan is chained. No, my brothers and sisters. Shaitan proclaimed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I will try to I will try to derive human beings until Alhamdulillah wahda wa salatu wa salamu ala man la nabiya ba'da amma ba'd Today our topic is how Ramadan purifies us that means how fasting protect the life of a Muslim and how we can get benefited of... I am Nazmus Sakib Noor I am, uh, my school is Amratola Government Primary School. I am a, working in a masjid as a khatib in Madina Masjid that, that is situated in uh, Chaurasta, that's called Kathal Toli Chaurasta. However, I, I am thanking uh, our Honorable Sir Saifullah sir, for arranging such a very beautiful arrangement. By fasting. Fasting, please discuss. Uh, the grace of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have entered in the month of Ramadan. And fasting is the, uh, uh, is the ibadah, the worship in, in this month of Ramadan. And uh, by the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are commanded to fast in this month of Ramadan. And what is fasting? Fasting means to give up something, to control something for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, current has been gone. Okay, uh, no problem, I can see. Okay. Uh, fasting means in, in the Sharia, from dawn till the sunset, you have to refrain from eating and your sexual work. It is by, by the Islamic Sharia, it is called fasting. So this fasting is uh, uh, this fasting is commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya hiwa lazina amanu kutiba alaykum usiyama kama kutiba ala lazina min qablikum la'allakum tattakun. That oh, 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 who you believe, fasting has been prescribed to you uh, as it was prescribed before, uh, before you, the other nations before you, so that you can attain taqwa, so that you can attain righteousness. So the fasting means not only to uh, refraining from eating and drinking, but also to refrain from all the haram activities that a Muslim does from other month. So fasting is not only mean for eating from the fundamental needs, but also refraining from the other, uh, other, uh, other haram activities. So fasting is from uh, it, drinking and eating and also refraining from the uh, haram activities, from the sinuous activities. What is the yes. relation between fasting and taqwa? I understand. Yes, the relation of uh, taqwa uh, with fasting, it is, it's the most related term, the taqwa uh, and, and fasting, that ui, uh, hoin ui. When we fear Allah, that when we fear Allah, we refrain from all the haram activities and fastings in, a, in, in this in this uh, in this uh, rituals by uh, by fearing every by fearing a, a man uh, uh, he 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 gives up all the things uh, that is prohibited because he fear Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching that he's not eating and drinking. So by for the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's giving up all the things that, that is halal in the other month of Ramadan. But in the month of Ramadan, he's refraining from these things for the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So kinds of God consciousness or Allah consciousness, Allah consciousness contains in his mind and uh, contains in his mind and he becomes more and more righteous in this month of Ramadan because a kind of environment contains always always everywhere 
around us always the fear around us a kinds of uh, environment that you cannot but help holding taqwa taqwa you have to hold in this month of ramadan because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has helps us in this month of ramadan by chaining shaitan for, to harm us in in grievous harming so the little harm that shaitan that shaitan causes in our heart that it can be uh, it can be erased because his his uh, his blood circulation is very uh, very much con uh, constricted and shaitan cannot flowing from his blood because he is not eating and drinking so in this way holding taqwa and on holding taqwa is very much easy in this month of ramadan and he becomes more and more allah consciousness he he cannot do anything haram activities he thinks that yes allah is watching Allah is watching me, so I cannot do these things that he previously done, that he previously accustomed to done such kinds of haram activities. But in the month of Ramadan, it he he cannot, his mind prohibits him not to do such kinds of activities for the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A fear, a fear always contains in this month of Ramadan. The, the purpose of this month of Ramadan is to hold in taqwa. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran in the Surah Baqarah, verses number 183, that fasting has been prescribed for you. Fasting has, has commanded for you so that you can hold taqwa. It is the main reason. Not only to Allah does not want us to giving up such kinds of things, just uh, eating, drinking. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala need that we, we can increase our taqwa. Most people cannot understand this, that things. They can, they only understand the siya that we, we giving up, we give up eating and drinking. No, my brothers and sisters, you have to you have to think, you have to, you have to understand that your main purpose in this month of Ramadan is to hold taqwa, is to increase your taqwa, is to increase your relation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your relationships should be increased and you, by this month of Ramadan, you will be able to, uh, you will be able to giving up your, your bad habits that, uh, that make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala angry. You cannot do any work that will make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala angry. This is the main point in this month of Ramadan that you have to you have to understand. You already mentioned a point that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends shaitan to protect Muslim or muttaqi. One thing that's the relation with patience with uh, Ramadan. I have missed this point. Can I explain it? The relation uh -huh. Yes, yes, of course. Yes, sabur. It Sabur is not a thing that you can you can attain by one day, but it is a matter of practice. Nobody, sober, what is mean by sober? First of all, we have to understand the sober is to holding patience in, in various kinds of situation. There are three kinds of situation in which we have to hold patience. In obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to hold patience. When we, giving, when we want to give up haram activities, we have to hold patience. When some kinds of unwanted calamities befalls our lives, we have to hold patience. In these three circumstances, we have to hold patience. And in this month of Ramadan, all the three circumstances contains, and we learn how to hold patience because we have to obey. We pray five rakat salah. We have to get. We have to get up very early in the morning, very dawn. At the dawn, we have to get up. It, if you don't have patience, you it you it will be not be possible for you to getting up such a, a moment to give up your um, luxurious sleeping. You have to get up for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and go to masjid. So it, it all needs patience. If all needs patience. So Ramadan Mas is the great opportunity for us to practice patience. We have to practice patience in these months of Ramadan because as a human being, we cannot but we cannot but run our life. We cannot but lead our life with holding patience because all the activities you do, you have to hold patience. And when you uh, when you give up haram activities. When you give up such kinds of activities, that is very much easy for you, but it is haram. Such as if you if you take bribe, it sometimes for the uh, for the government officials it is very easy to take bribe, take bribe. But if you hold patience, that yes, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, what, what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has given me, it is better for for taking than taking haram money. 
So from, from, uh, if you want to save yourself from haram things, you have to hold patience. So all the things and some calamities sometimes befalls our life, some uh, relatives die sometimes. So in this, all the, all these three terms, all these three circumstances, we have to hold patience. And Ramadan Mash is the best opportunity to practice the patience. And I urge all the Muslim brothers and sisters, all Muslim brothers and sisters, learn to hold patience. It is the most important thing. And fasting is the half of patience that our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that fasting is the half of patience. So in this month of Ramadan, we have to learn. We have to, we have to realize that it is not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us from, from increase some qualities. For example, taqwa sabur to be increased. May Allah, may Allah give us opportunities and may Allah give us realization that we have to face a lot of unwanted situation. And in this time, in those times, in such kinds of unwanted situation, if we don't have patience, we'll be lost. Our iman may be lost. Sometimes people cries sometimes people cry when they uh, when they face some unwanted situation or their relative dies and they do not pray they forget everything because of losing patient so it is very much important to practice your patient oh, patient practicing patient is like building up your muscles if you want to build up your muscles you have to do gym you have to exercise in this way you have to practice your patience you have to build up your patience in this okay. month of Ramadan, Allah. Okay, thank you. Okay, Shaitan is always trying to distract us. Okay, so what is the tricks applied by Shaitan to distract Muttakis, especially in the month of Ramadan? Yes, we know that Shaitan is changed in this month of Ramadan, but sometimes we see that even in this month of Ramadan, people quarrel with each other. People like use very hot words with each other and may and do very rude and rough behavior with each other. What is the problem? Shaitan is changed. No, my brothers and sisters. Shaitan proclaimed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I will try to I will try to derive human beings until their death, until their life is in their body. Uh, yes, Shaitan is always trying to harm you. There are some tricks in this month of Ramadan that people are think that in this month of Ramadan we are very uh, we are very uh, kinds of righteous people. We are a good Muslim, and there are not there. Uh, uh, I am I am more better than other people, and they in the in this way their mind become hot in this month of Ramadan because they are. Their belly is empty. Sometimes their uh, temper is very much hot and they do rough behavior with their family members. Uh, so my brothers and sisters, we have to understand that in this month of Ramadan, you have to bring, you have to think, you have to bring a, uh, you have to bring a realization in your mind that always until your death, you have to fight shaitan. Without, without fighting shaitan, you will fall the traps of shaitan and you will fall in the traps of shaitan and various types of haram activities even in the month of Ramadan may be occurred. Fasting has two types of benefits, spiritual benefit and physical benefit also. Okay, can you explain how fasting benefits us? Yes. What are you. the benefits of yes. fasting? Yes, fasting has various types of benefits. Yes, human beings is consists of two parts. One is spiritual parts. One is that is a uh, physiological parts. In these two parts, in these two parts, Ramadan is has lots of benefits. Yes, there are lots of health benefits of uh, of of fasting that scientists has discovered. That um, that you think one thing that people do exercise. Yes, they can they can take rest. They can give their body rest. Uh, they can sleep. But why they do exercise and do such kinds of uh, bodily movement? Why? Because there is some benefits. So in the same way, eating and drinking is better. Eating and drinking has lots of benefits. Is uh, our our nutritious foods has lots of benefits. But sometimes. We have to fast. We have we have to fast, and this fasting is like exercising. 
as exercise has some benefits and fasting also some benefits, it, there are some toxin substance, uh, substances in our body that fasting, by fasting, these toxic substances dies. And scientists recently discovered that the some reason of cancer, uh, some uh, cell of cancer is destroyed for, uh, for these fastings. Uh, our glucose level and our glucose level is also also in a very uh, controlled way in this month of Ramadan. And people say that I have a lot of problem in gastric, but in this month of Ramadan, my gastric problem has vanished. Uh, so there are lots of benefits. We, only eating has not benefits. Fasting has also benefits that present scientist has discovered. Okay, sir, I want to add some points uh, that fasting helps us. Okay, fasting helps uh, basically weight loss and improves insulin sensitivity, uh, improves our immune system. Okay, yes. and uh, I want to know uh, from your point of view, how Muslim can best use of this month of Ramadan? Yes, as, as you said, the fasting has on, not only in bodily benefits, it has also spiritual benefits. I am I am going to your question before discussing this, that spiritual benefits, the most important benefits in this month of Ramadan. Our spirituality increases in this month of Ramadan. Our, our consciousness with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases in this month of Ramadan. People actually, people in the, in the other, other months, people miss their Fajr Salah. But in this month of Ramadan, a month they can get the environment to pray their Fajr Salah and their mental ability to doing work increases and their mental ability to uh, to pr practice their religion also increases. However, uh, your question that how uh, this... Uh, how, how Muslims you, this can best uh, make best uh, use of the month of Ramadan? Yes, Ramadan March is the uh, Ramadan month is the month of revelation of the Holy Quran. If people, uh, if Muslims, if Muslims read more and more Quran, they will be benefited. And in this month of Ramadan, they have to read more and more Holy Quran, and they have to uh, realize the verses. They have to think about the verses of the Holy Quran, and they have to get a good relation of the Holy Quran by. Uh, by increasing their relation of Holy Quran, people will be the most mostly benefited. People will be benefited mostly if they increase their relation of the Holy Quran. Because without without Quran, our spirituality will not be fulfilled. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our our food, our food of our spirituality is Holy Quran. And most of the Muslims, many of the Muslims, they are they cannot read holy quran but in this month of ramadan it is the greatest opportunity for them to learn holy quran to read quran with very uh, with authentic way uh, they they should learn holy quran and they should uh, they should use this month of ramadan by reading more and more quran i, I suggest all the muslims to do this 